Let's dive into the different stages of cycling network development. First up, the worst scenario where there's no dedicated cycling network at all. Next, there's a patchy network that does not invite to cycle. Then we have a network, but only in a technical sense. You're still taking detours, but it's getting better. Moving on to not grafting bike lanes onto streets, but looking holistically at the city as a series of origins and destinations and making it possible to ride from anywhere to everywhere on a minimum grid of routes. And finally, not just a perfect cycling network with direct, efficient routes everywhere, but a mix of context-specific infrastructure that is disentangled from the car network and complements the public transport network. This is Chapter 1 of the Self-Assessment Tool of the International Cycling Community of Practice.